Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Just a kind of inspirational pep talk vlog today because I got a comment on my YouTube channel last night and it gave me some, um, a moment for pause. And I get all kinds of uh, comments and questions on my YouTube channel and most of the time they are really nice and positive and just very inspiring and lovely. That's like 95% of my comments. I'm very thankful that I have such an awesome community of supportive people. Sometimes you get the haters and the nasty comments and those I have no problem deleting, but sometimes I'll get comments that really make me think a little bit, give me a moment for pause, sometimes it opens up a wonderful dialogue, sometimes, um, you know, I will kind of say why I do something this way instead of how they suggest, or, you know, just kind of give my side of the story if they're kind of critiquing or criticizing something that I do for a specific reason. Um, but anyway, I leave those comments up because I think it gives, um, it gives people different opinions to consider. As long as they're not nasty, I leave them up. I got a comment last night, and I sincerely do not think that it was meant to be negative, but um, but the comment went, um, I'm going to paraphrase a little bit, but the comment went kind of like this. I enjoy your videos. I've been watching them a lot this weekend, um, trying to figure out what medium I want to do. Uh, but one thing I've noticed in several of your videos, and these are my older videos, is that uh, you mention you're always rushing off to pick up a kid, or you just got back from dropping off a kid, and I wonder why bother starting a video at all if you just have to rush off in a few minutes or um, you can't spend very much time at it. You can't be putting your best work into it or your best effort into it if you just have to, you know, go pick up a kid or go drop off a kid or a kid's going to be getting, getting off the bus. And um, so for, right after I read that, I said, whoa, if, if that was the case, I wouldn't, I would never have made a YouTube video. I started my channel when my kid started pre-K, which was just a couple hours a day. And I just had little scraps of time between, you know, the other work I was doing and, you know, for YouTube as a hobby. I only had, you know, little little scraps of 15, you know, 20 minutes at a time at the most. So if I never made use of those scraps of time, I never would have gotten anything done. Isn't that right? That is right. This, this is, is my little kid. <laughs> and this is my busy mom. <laughs> So I had to use those little scraps of time whenever I found them. And the reason I wanted to respond to her comment in a video is not to like shame her or say, how dare you? Or no, not at all. Because I think a lot of you guys have that opinion. Like, why should I bother getting out my supplies if I only have 15 minutes to create? Why should I bother opening up my palette if I only have, you know, half an hour? Why should I bother, um, you know, doing anything if I don't have hours to devote to it. You should bother because a lot of times all we have is little scraps of time. That's like telling somebody, don't bother exercising unless you have an hour at a time to devote to it or two hours at a time. If someone told you that, you know, you would say that's crazy. If you're, if you have 15 minutes of time, go for a walk, go walk 15 minutes rather than saying, well, I don't have an hour to exercise. So I guess I'll, you know, scroll through Facebook and, you know, catch up on you know, on things that way, or I guess I'll watch TV for half an hour since I don't have an hour to do a proper workout. That's the exact same thing as saying, well, I might as well not bother if I don't have an hour to work on a painting. You've got to take the time that you have. In fact, if I look at my channel, some of my top videos, I think my number one video is a hummingbird watercolor I did um, a few years ago back when my darling children, hello darling child, one of them, were, <laughs> and the, oh, by the way, the reason we're all gussied up is because I <laughs> were going to the girls' eighth grade graduation. Lila's still working on her hair. And um, since I had hair and makeup on, I figured, well, hey, I got a little time. I can do a vlog, you know, because, well, I'm not going <laughs> to put on all the hair and makeup and do all that stuff, you know, um, just for, just, you know, unless I was doing it anyway. So it's taking those scraps of time, seizing the moment and getting stuff done. And those little bits of time compress. And I hear exercise professionals talking about it now, saying that you do not have to work out an hour and a half all at once. You can do 10 minutes here. You can do, um, like, 25 burpees, you can do, you can walk for 20 minutes, you can do, you know, crunches for five minutes, and that will compound and it will add up. And the same thing with your art. I am a big advocate of finding some place in your home. It does not have to be a whole room or anything fancy. Could just be like a, a it could be like a folder you can open up, like a binder you can open up with watercolor paper or your know, scrapbook supplies or whatever it is you like to do. So whenever you have those few minutes, you can grab it and work on it. Or having a desk set up with a project on it, you can, you know, pick away at when you have a couple minutes. It might be, you know, waiting 10 minutes for the dryer to finish up so you can, you know, fold some laundry. These moments are precious and you have to seize them because if you don't take those 
precious bits of time, they are going to disappear. They're going to go away quicker than your children's childhood. <laughs> They're so big and taller than me now. Oh my gosh, how did this happen? Ah. <laughs> she even has like flatter shoes on than I do and she is taller than me. That's so sad. But you know, I was able to take those little scraps of time when she was at school, when, when all the kids were busy in activities where I didn't need to supervise them and I could build my YouTube channel and bring tutorials to you guys. So like I was talking about my, my most popular video, it's got over a million views. It was a quick hummingbird watercolor painting. I literally did that in one take in like 15 minutes, probably like about 20 minutes before the bus was due to arrive with my kids coming home from school. And if I'd never done that, then there are thousands of people, millions of people that wouldn't have had a chance to see that. And not only that, but I still get tagged on Instagram with pictures of that that they've painted. So I think of the thousands of paintings that were done because they watched that video and they saw, oh, 15 minutes, I have time to do that. And then they did it. So if I added up all of the videos that I just kind of scrawled off in a spare 20 minutes and I took all those paintings that people had created from them and counted them up. I mean, that might have been millions of pieces of art that otherwise would never have been done because people wouldn't have thought they had the time or the talent to do it. So, so I, I think I am putting in perfectly fine effort. And for me, I know that I do very well with, um, with deadlines and not having quite enough time. You look for, look at cities that bid, bid for the Olympics the cities that have been trying to get infrastructure done for decades, when they bid for the Olympics, they actually get their cities up to snuff. Even if they don't win the bid, their city has quickly been brought uh, modernized up to snuff because they had that deadline. I heard a quote, um, I don't know if it was a Winston Churchill, it was, um, it was some famous politician said, or I don't know if they're a politician or, you know, my thought leader, somebody in the, within the last decade said, um, there's, what you need, if you want to get something done, what you need, and I'm paraphrasing, what you need is a big idea and not quite enough time to get it done. And I believe that's true. I mean, if you have this deadline set off way far in the distance, you have no um, motivation to get going on it right now. If I have um, all day with nothing planned, I guarantee you I will waste hours because I got all day. I don't have to rush down to my studio and start working on something because I have all day, I have all the time in the world. And then before you know it, it's 30 minutes left in my day and I've got nothing done and I've got to hurry to make something happen. Uh, having those constraints is really vital, I think, for uh, creative projects. Having a two-hour time span. If I know I've got 20 minutes before I've got to do my next thing, I have no time to hesitate. I have no time to hem and haw and to fret about using this or using that. I'm going to jump in and use something and try something and do something. And that's why, for me, stealing those little scraps of time whenever I can find them has always worked out well and been motivating. So the next time you you hear your, that inner voice, that critic in your brain saying, oh, I'm not even going to bother. I don't have, I don't have enough time to do it right. I'm not even going to bother. Sometimes doing it is better than doing it right. Just getting in there, getting it done, trying something, um, because you might come up with a whole new idea and it's better than doing nothing. It's so much better than doing nothing. So that's all I have to say. I really think, I don't want to, I, I, I really appreciate the comment that was left and I don't want to call the person out in case somebody thought she was being nasty. She was not being nasty. She was being very complimentary, but I thought that was a really good comment because I think a lot of us tell ourselves, why bother if we don't have hours and hours of time, if we don't have studios full of supplies, if we don't have budgets with, you know, hundreds of, you know, disposable dollars to spend on supplies. Why bother? You should absolutely bother. Use what you have, whether it's the time that you have, the supplies that you have, the talent that you have. Use what you have and make something today, even if you only have five minutes and, you know, 50 cents worth of supplies. Uh, that's all I have to say for today. I have no idea how long I was talking. Oh, about nine minutes. Not too bad. Um, I want to congratulate all the graduates out there, whether you're graduating from eighth grade, high school, college, graduate graduate school. Um, I want to congratulate you and I hope you all have a wonderful summer. Do you have anything else to add? Some people are good under pressure. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Do you work under pressure or do you like to plan it out? Mm -hmm. Like when I pitch for softball, when like I know that it's like a full count or something mm -hmm. and I need to pitch a strike, I usually do that. Instead of like I have two strikes, no balls, I'm good. Yeah. 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 So better under pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't got all day. You got to get it done. You got to pee or get off the pot, as they say. <laughs> so that's all there is for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.